Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where we'll look at a problem that is called I love username. As always, I will start with reading the problem to you. Vasya adores spoke programming. He can't write programs, but he loves to watch the contest's progress. Vasya even has a favorite coder, and Vasya pays special attention to him. One day, Vasya decided to collect the results of all contests where his favorite coder participated and track the progress of the scores. For each contest, where this coder participated, he wrote out a single non-negative number, the number of points his favorite coder earned in the contest. Vasya wrote out the points for the contest in the order in which the contest run. Naturally, no two contests run simultaneously. Vasya considers a coder's performance in a contest amazing in two situations. He can break either his best or his worst performance record. First, it is amazing if during the contest the coder earns strictly more points than he earned on each past contest. Second, it is amazing if during the contest the coder earns strictly less points than he earned on each past contest. The coder's first contest isn't considered amazing. Now he wants to count the number of amazing performances the coder had throughout his whole history of participating in contests. But the list of earned points turned out long and Vasya can't code. That's why he asks you to help him. Okay, so the input. The first line contains the single integer n, with n um, between 1 and 1000, the number of contests where the coder participated. The next line contains n space separated non negative integer numbers. They are the points which the coder has earned. The points are given in the chronological order. All points do not exceed 10,000. Output. Print the single number, the number of amazing performances the coder has had during his whole history of participating in the contests. Okay. So I think we will start with writing a few notes down. So what is our goal? Find out how many amazing performances were done. Um, what is amazing? Amazing is either all time lowest or all time highest score until the date. Okay, so we have to find out if um, they have an all time high or an all time low value. Then we have our input n, that is the number of contests um, participated. And uh, we have um, other input, our list um, set Separated with spaces. These are the points in the contests. Okay, good. So I think let's just go through the example to um, make really clear what we need to do here. Um, just one other statement is important. Uh, Coda's first contest isn't considered amazing. Um, Coders first content is considered amazing. Okay, so let's go through an example. Um, let's go through the first one here. So we see that we have at the first input five. So this is the number of contests participated. He participated in five contests. Um, then we have the first um, contest where he got 100 points. Um, this isn't considered amazing, uh, just in general. Then we have our second contest. He got 50 points there. So 50 points is lower than 100, so it's the lowest value in here. So this is an amazing performance. The next contest, he got 200 points. 200 points is higher than 100 points and higher than 50 points. So this is an amazing performance because it's an 
all time high. 150. 150 is higher than 100, is higher than 50, but is lower than 200. So it's not an all time high and not an all time low. So it's not an amazing performance. Then the 200. 200 is higher than 100, it's higher than 50, it's not higher than 200, it's higher than 150, so it's not the lowest score of all time, it's not the highest score of all time, so this isn't an amazing performance. And that's what you need to find out. So let's just write a few notes down on what we need to do in here. Um, so our algorithm. Um, first of all, read n s int. So we need r number of contests participated. Then we need to uh, read list of integers. Um, so these are our points in contests. Um, then we have all input we need. Um, then we will need a counter of our amazing performances. Um, we initialize it with zero. Okay, so and then we will do what we did here. Um, we will go through the list of um, performances and check if uh, the performances are all time high or all time low. So we go through the list of points and uh, for every value, but not the first one, we find out if actual value is either highest or lowest of all time. Okay. If yes, then we have an amazing performance and we increase our counter. If no, then it's not an amazing performance. And at the end, we will just print out number of amazing performances. Okay, that's it. That's our notes. And now we'll go for writing the code. Um, Beforehand, um, I will just go very easy with this one and um, will have a complexity of n square. Um, if you have any better solutions, any faster solutions, um, just post them in the comments below. Um, I will be very happy to talk about them, um, to discuss about better solutions for this. But just let's start. So first of all, I said, I will read at n as an integer input. Then we have a list of our points. So just take it, uh, call it points. This is a list. And we take the map with an int function, take our input and split it. So what are we doing here? We are taking our input. So this line here, we split it um, at the spaces. So we split it here, 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 and here. Um, we get a list with five values. Um, at the moment, these are strings. So we want to um, cast it to integers. Therefore, we take the map function. Um, we take the integer function for every item in the list. And uh, at the end, we don't want to have a map, we want to have a list. So we cast this result to a list. Okay. Now let's initialize our counter with zero. Now I say we go through our list. Um, the 
important part that um, a coder's first contest isn't considered amazing um, tells us that we don't want to start um, at the first item in the list. So at 100, so we want to start at 50. So we take our first uh, loop in here. Um, as always, or it's, it's normal uh, that the list starts with a zero. So our second value in the list um, has the one. So it's the first, um, so number one is the second element in the list. Um, and we go through the whole list to, to n. Now we just make a small subcounter for highest and subcounter for lowest. You will see uh, in a few seconds why this helps us. Um, now, what do we do? Um, how we did it before, we go to all the um, different items in our list and we check if the values before are higher or lower. So we need another loop where we go through all the items before the items we're looking at. So we have another loop so for a in range um, 0 to i. Um, so we go from the first value up to the value before um, the ith value that we are looking at. And we check there if points of i, so our current point, is higher than the value before. If yes, then we increase our subcounter highest. If this is not the case, then we check if this value is the lowest of all time or as low as the other one. Then we increase our subcounter lowest one. And when we are finished um, with one value, then we check if our subcounter highest is i or our subcounter lowest is i and if this is the case then we increase our counter by one and at the end we just print out our counter so what are we checking here um, we check if our subcounter highest uh, is i that means if every checkup before um, was either highest or was lowest. So let's go for the 200 uh, once again. So the 200 is the um, second element or the element with um, i is equal to 2. Then we go to our first one. There we have the 100. Um, 200 is higher than 100. So we have our subcounter um, increased by one. So our subcounter highest is one in here. Then we do this with the 50. So 200 is higher than 50. And um, once again, we increase our subcounter highest by one. So we have a subcounter highest with two. And then we check if our subcounter highest two is equal to i. i is two there too. So we now uh, know that this was an amazing performance. And um, this means we increase our counter, our amazing counter, by one. And just print it out. So this was the implementation. Let's just check the examples. So um, we have our five contests. 100 points, 50 points, 200 points, 150 points, and 200 points. 
and we're the two. This is amazing. Now let's check this one, but I won't type all the values. So 10 contacts with this point and we get a four. Okay, so let's just check for submitting it if this is correct. Yes, so this was accepted. Um, the time consumed is very high in here. Um, this because I have the two loops um, that are inside. So this is pretty slow. How I said before, um, I would appreciate if you just write a better solution in the comments to discuss about it. Um, but just let's go back to the code once again. I think um, interesting constructs in here um, is this kind of thing that I explained before. So taking an input, splitting it, transforming it to integers and um, save it in a list. Um, other things that are interesting um, is that lists always start with a, um, with a zero or with a, a element at position zero. Um, and I think these are the most interesting parts in here. Um, if you have any questions on this problem or on everything else, uh, anything else, just write me a comment. Um, if you have any improvements, just uh, write a comment too. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up. And I would like to see you at the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.